Greetings, this is Blood Drill, and welcome back to Let's Play the Agatha Christie's ABC Murders. So we finished with the first crime scene, so let's check the back room. The door is locked. Well, we have a key. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I think I need to drag and drop it, maybe. Cool. So she has, she had here a uh, bedroom just behind the shop. Blood. Indeed. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? Maybe. An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashes were a lovely couple when they were young. Cool. Nothing really exciting in that. Hmm. Thinking. Time for more puzzles. I'm guessing it's just at the top, but I want to look around. Alright. It is blocked by something. All right, we have a bird. Wow, another bird. All right. Let's see. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the... Yeah, we'll get it. No. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. we can't turn the middle one. It's gonna be tricky. Nope. Nope. Also nope. So who can do anything with that? Or that? Not to that, not to that. Not to that. That doesn't seem to work either. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> it seems harder than it should be. Can I change the, that one? The wooden flower is preventing the circle from turning. Aha, uh -huh. can I move it? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. There we go. That seems like a better... Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. No. God damn it, you can't... Hmm. This is gonna be tricky as hell. Maybe? No. I'm pretty sure the straight path won't be the correct one. The wooden flower is... Yes, yes, thank you. That's right. I don't think it would start from a... Not a straight line, but... I guess you never know. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. So I want to get here. Not that one. Maybe that one. So I want to be here then. Or there. Alright. That line was somewhere there, right? I think so. Let's see if I can get the flow out. There we go. That should work. I heard a faint sound as if something wasn't locked. Which was weird because the the etchings didn't actually correspond to everything. I expected everything to be symmetrical, but apparently not. Okay. Alright. No. Go out. Oh, crap. Alright. I'm guessing these are clues. Yes, okay. So, that's a weird way to view that. I can't really tell. This is the top. Oh, you view it only the same way, okay. I haven't seen that bird yet. I think that's the first bird, upside down. This is the second bird. Uh, uh, this is weird. I think it's that, maybe. Yeah, okay. You are definitely... Ah, there is no... Why did that sound was made? Alright, I'm not sure. Uh, that looks straight. So that remains as is. And you were the yellow bird. Yes, and you were like that, I think. Very nice. Love them. Why? Nice. I used it a lot back then. Laudanum based cough medicine, Mrs. Asher. And Dover Morley Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. I think they used that shit for everything back then. Calm nerves and uh, stuff like that. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road and Dover to Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, £11, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint. Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Wow, 11 pounds. 
the good old age, I guess. Although it doesn't matter. Everything is kind of proportional, so... But yeah. What a strange box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. Uh... Okay. This button appears to activate a mechanism. Can't do anything with that. I'm guessing this is nothing, but let me check just in case. No, okay. Do I have to find found four mechanisms? Hmm. Did I miss something? Yes. That should do it. Cool. Good job, Poro. Okay, come on. Who is this young woman? To my dear Aunt Alice, Marie Drauer. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shops surrounding. Cool, okay. This interior is very simple. He did say, I think I looked at everything, but I want to check anyway. I like that it actually, not only the circle gets smaller, but the screen gets darker to indicate you are going in the correct way. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. Alright, don't say anything else. What do you want? Inspect the surroundings, we know about that. She's alright. Nothing really new. And done, cool. How do we go? All right, I'm guessing we'll speak with people. Four pence a letters, a lovely lot of letters, four pence only. Am I stuck? Yes. <laughs> a bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. This woman appears to be a smoker. Yes. I was thinking, wow, <clears throat> that's not her mobile phone. It's such a usual pose to see someone these days. But this was the, you know, 935, so no phones. No mobile phones anyway. Maybe you can stare at people like that where you come from. All right, my bad, relax. I saw something... Cool. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop.
The strawberries are not very pleased. Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. Tch, you're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you'll hear about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Did you speak to the victim yourself? No, I never saw her. I do not quite understand. You work next door to each other, but you do not see each other? It's true! I didn't see her all day. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure. I know that you went to the tobacco shop yesterday. Well? It is your duty to tell me if you saw something unusual. Who do you think you are telling me what to do? Get away from my stall! Contemptuous. Uh, okay, what? I have no idea. So I failed uh, that, I think, but I'm not sure because I got trophy, so... Maybe. I wonder if this will add the replayability to the game. Adventures are not really the things you could uh, replay. Alright, fine. Hey, Poirot. Is the greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. No, please, leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. Cool. Now I'm curious. It is nice to confide in Uncle Poirot, and that is why you conducted interrogation to perfection. Okay, so I guess I didn't fail that after all. What is uh, Hastings? I found the victim's name. Thank you. Yes. All right. I guess I don't have anything else to do outside. Hmm. Can we establish the time braids? Uh, what was Miss Sasser doing? Okay. For now, let's go in. I guess. I'm guessing Hastings is keeping company to the niece. This thing was a uh, <laughs> ladies' man, I guess. Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece. His attention is commendable. <laughs> All right. So he's oh, maybe he's still talking to the neighbors, I guess. Oh, hello. I didn't see that before. Plus three ego points, really? <laughs> Alright. That's fine. Alright, we'll speak to the Nisa in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time with more ABC Murders. How is the full name? I don't know. More Hercule Poirot.